Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Red Hat provides Red Hat Enterprise Linux beta access to all subscribed Red Hat accounts. The purpose of beta access to is to provide an opportunity to customers to test major features and capabilities prior to the general availability release and provide feedback or report issues. <coughs> Note that Red Hat okay, uh, making open source more inclusive. Red Hat is committed to replacing problematic language in our code, documentation, and web properties. We are beginning with these four terms, master, slave, blacklist, and whitelist. Because of the enormity of this <coughs> endeavor, these changes will be implemented gradually over several upcoming releases. Okay. Providing feedback on Red Hat documentation. We appreciate your input on our documentation. Please let us know how we could make it better. So to do so, <coughs> for simple comments on specific passages, make sure you are viewing the documentation in multi-page HTML format. <coughs> so, chapter one, overview. Major changes on RHEL 90 beta, security. The uses of SHO-1 message digest for cryptographic purposes has been deprecated in real. The digest produced by SHO-1 is not considered secure because of many documented successful attacks based on finding hash collisions. The real core crypto components no longer create signatures using SHO-1 by default. Applications in RHEL 9 have been updated to avoid using SHA in security relevant uses cases. Among the exceptions, the HMAC, SHA-1 messages authentication code and the universal unique identifier. Values can still be created using SHA-1 because these use cases do not certainly pose security risks. SHA-1 also can be used in limited cases connected with the important inter and compatibility concerns such as Kerberos, OAP2, SIDA. So see the list of real applications using cryptocurrency. <coughs> so applications and details. Bacula implements on CRM MD5 authentication protocol. Uh, Cyrus SSL uses the SRAM SHO-1 authentication method. <coughs> 